WSTKS FM Worldwide. Digital Collaborative Learning for the 21st Century. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to week 12 of the Collaborative Cafe, a podcast to help you navigate IAH 209 Film Noir with greater success. Professor Schwartz here yet again, and I think it's safe to say that we are almost at the end of the semester. We're all worn down, a little bit anxious about getting everything done, and looking forward to winter break when we can hopefully check out for a little rest and relaxation. But remember to keep your eye on the prize, which is completing your remaining work in the course. With that in mind, today we'll look at three common end-of-semester traps to watch out for during the final few weeks of the course. So order a mug of your favorite hot beverage and have a seat. All set? Then here we go. The first end-of-semester trap to watch out for is the sudden neglect of engaging routinely with your learning team and related coursework because you are too busy with other things. Remember, IAH 209 Film Noir has a collaborative design, and the expectation is that students will work routinely with the members of your learning team to examine analyze, and discuss course materials each week. On a related note, keep in mind, too, that students in the course have also committed to create three collaborative projects that align clearly with the prompts laid out in the relevant collaborative project packets available for easy review on D2L. Now, Every academic term, there are always a few students who could complete the course with a passing grade, yet they somehow disappear without a trace during the last few weeks of the course. Presumably overwhelmed by the pressure of finishing the semester. And I get it, since I too experienced the same thing my second year in community college <laughs> a long time ago in a galaxy far away when I suddenly stopped attending my Algebra 2 course after Thanksgiving break. But as my instructor, Professor Sendek, told me a few days later when we bumped into each other unexpectedly, you're nearing the end zone, don't fumble the ball now. The point, of course, is for you to keep working with your learning team routinely and contribute to your remaining collaborative work. You're almost there. Don't give up and stay committed to your team. Allowing yourself to become missing in action is another end-of-semester trap that you need to be aware of and avoid. Again, while I don't know for certain, I suspect that the sprinkling of students who do this near the end of each semester are simply overwhelmed by the time crunch, combined with wrapping up remaining coursework, plus the approach of final exams. And that sinking feeling is understandable. Again, I get it. But here's a helpful suggestion. Sit down with some paper, a large calendar, and make a list of your remaining assignments upcoming exams, and the dates when everything is due or scheduled to take place during the next few weeks. Then, using your calendar, prioritize the things that are due first and make up a master to-do list with the most important items at the top and less immediate things along with due dates that are further out near the bottom. And then, get started without delay. Budget your time carefully, track your progress each day, shift things around if necessary, and think of your remaining work in the course as a series of small hills rather than some huge mountain that is impossible to climb. Take control of your situation, in other words. Plan, 
organize, and move forward with your coursework in not only IAH 209 Film Noir, but with your other courses on campus too. Now, it might seem hard, but you'll begin to get things finished when you simply take those first few steps. And the more you accomplish, the more you will want to tackle as the light grows brighter <laughs> at the end of semester tunnel. Finally, the third end of semester trap to watch out for is letting the socializing take over when your learning team convenes at the expense of getting things accomplished in the time available. Now, I understand. Learning is a social activity and we're all tired, so it's okay to take a break now and then to stretch your legs, get something to drink, check incoming texts, or share a funny roommate story. The problem comes when the members of your team are all seated around a table at, for example, Starbucks in the library, everybody has their laptops open to different things, and team members are chatting about nothing in particular or checking their phones, but there is little actual focused work taking place. Not only does that waste valuable time, but it really isn't the most effective form of collaboration, especially at the tail end of the semester when all of us have more on our plates than we would like. Instead, involve all members of your team in careful planning together before your work sessions happen. Ensure productive collaboration by carefully defining the roles and responsibilities before you meet so that everyone is prepared to do their best work. Create a specific agenda ahead of time with clear goals to keep your team focused and on track when you meet. Manage time and break down your work into focused sessions with 10 or 15 minute breaks once an hour to avoid burnout and keep things moving forward. Finally, Communicate throughout to address any issues or concerns that might arise and maintain a positive team dynamic. By following these end-of-semester strategies, your learning team can maximize productivity and achieve its goals. WSTKS FM Worldwide Digital Collaborative Learning for the 21st Century if you find this podcast helpful, be sure to hit like, share, and subscribe. Before we conclude today's program, let's review the three end-of-semester traps you should watch out for as your learning team scrambles to get everything done. 1. Don't fall into the trap of neglecting to engage routinely with your learning team and related coursework. Instead, remain committed to your teammates and contribute to your remaining collaborative work without fail. 2. Avoid falling through the cracks and disappearing from the course altogether during the final few weeks. Instead, Create a detailed to-do list on which you enumerate and prioritize everything you need to accomplish before the end of the semester. And three, don't allow yourself to fall into the trap of over-socializing at the expense of getting things accomplished during the limited time available when your team convenes for its collaborative work sessions. And with that, we come to the end of today's program. Enable and empower yourselves by joining me again in the Collaborative Cafe for additional tips, tricks, and advice based on my almost 30 years of collaboration with thousands of undergraduates at three Big Ten universities, two liberal arts schools, and two community colleges across the upper Midwest of the United States. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you in class, online, or 
during Zoom office hours if you drop by with a question. In the meantime, have a healthy, safe, and productive week. With special regards from Onyx, the cat what am. So long, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now. You've just heard a podcast from WSTKS FM Worldwide. Digital collaborative learning for the 21st century.